Hi there, this is Amanda Frankel with our Crafty Play Date, and this is actually the beginning of a series. So definitely check, I will make sure that I label them so that you can see that they are uh, all connected, but you're definitely gonna wanna follow all of them. I am using the Fresh as a Daisy paper. It looks like this, It there are 12 sheets, so two each of six different designs. The backside is also great. The backside is a little more solid. So you could do a card, see, using both of those. So it's got some great, um, real variety for sure of colors in there and different different cards that you can make for sure. Um, and it's really, overall, it's a, it's a very fun paper. You can use a lot of the florals and the solids are gonna be good forever. But there is this one oddball paper. Now it's not one, there are two of these and it seems like such an oddball piece of paper. Um, but I, it is not so oddball. I'm gonna turn it around because it looks more like this to me. It is not that oddball. It is awesome. First of all, it has all the colors connected and all the colors that you have that are in this paper are actually on the Fresh as a Daisy uh, wrapper right here. And you can see what's in there in order to make your cards, which I'm going to show you. So with this piece, I'm going to show you in this series how to cut this apart so that you can use all these pieces. And then you are going to make seven cards um, from this. And we're going to make all these in this series so you can see how I did it. We are only using one stamp set and the dies that go with it, we are using the, it's called Sending is the name of the stamp set. Sending Smiles is the name of the stamp set. And we're using the coordinating, coordinating, sorry, dies that go with this so that you can just use one stamp set. We are using various inks that kind of match, um, but I wanted to do something kind of special for you. So in addition to cutting this down the right way so that you can get all these parts out without having to make complicated, you know, square cuts right out of your paper. Although you can do that with your trimmer. I'm going to show you the easy way. In addition to doing that, I want to let you know, I'm not going to cut any of these down beyond their size. So I'm going to cut right on these lines and then I am not going to trim down any pieces. They are going to actually be the sizes that they come out in these cards. So it's going to make this so fast for you. There are actually a couple pieces that I'm not using. So you can see you can see I'm using this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And I want to say that this one here, this one here uses also this one. Okay. This, the back of it is this color and that's what we're using. All right. So to, in today's video, I'm just going to show you how to cut this. And then we're going to start making these cards kind of in order so that you can make your cards. All right, let's get started. I am going to bring in a trimmer here. This is our handy dandy trimmer. Actually, I think this is actually our, yeah, yeah, this is our current trimmer. Yes. Okay. Um, it comes with two different things here. The dark one is your cutting blade and the lighter colored one is your scoring blade. And we're not actually gonna score today at all. We're just gonna cut. We are gonna use our scoring blade when we make this card because it is a gift card holder. You can see, it's hard to see here. I'll show you more about that when we get there. But anyway, um, we are not gonna use our scoring blade on today's feature here. All right, so when you're cutting a piece of paper, <coughs> excuse me. If you're cutting a piece of paper like this, if any of you are quilters, you'll know what I'm talking about. Or if you've ever made stained glass pictures, it's kind of the same thing. You want to make sure that you're finding the line in here that goes all the way across. So this one, for example, goes to here, doesn't go all the way across. This one to here, doesn't go all the way across. The only one that goes all the way across is right here. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry about that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and cut along this line first. I'm going to move that scoring blade out of the way. I'm going to line up my trimmer, this right here, this little groove. I'm going to line it up, line it up. Good. Hold it still and cut. All right, so I'm going to set this aside. <coughs> Sorry. 
All right, and I'm gonna rotate this, and now I'm just gonna cut these pieces apart. So put them back in my trimmer, make sure it's lined up. One, and then I'm gonna get my yellow piece out. All right, so that's already three cards. All right, now I've got this piece left. Again, this line doesn't go all the way across, nor does this one, none of these do. This one doesn't, the only one that goes all the way across my paper, stem to stern, would be this one right here. So that's my second cut. I'm gonna line it up, cut it off. Okay, so now I've got this, goes all the way across, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Line it up, cut. All right, I don't know that I use that, but we're keeping them. I think there are two pieces that I didn't use. I think it's two. All right, so here's my piece again. And this one, none of these go all the way across. This is the only one that does. So that is my next cut. So I'm gonna turn it. That is my next cut right there. So I hope this makes sense. You're always looking for the line that goes all the way across your paper. Move this out of the way. This one goes all the way across so I can cut it. This saves you from having to do like a wacky cut here and then cut here and then cut here. It would just make it all very complicated. And who needs complicated? All right, so this is what's left. This one doesn't go all the way across. This one does, so that's my cut. I'm gonna turn it, uh, line it up, line it up better, cut. All right, this one's ready to go. This one, line goes all the way across, so that is my final cut. All right, so when I was designing the cards, I'm gonna talk a little bit about design and then um, and then this will be the end of this video because you have all these parts and we'll start making the cards in the next video. When I was looking at all these pieces that I had and I kind of just laid them out separately, it's hard to see when they're all connected to each other how you're gonna use them, right? But I knew for a fact that I didn't want to add a lot to them. I wanted to make super simple cards for you guys. So what I did was I actually grabbed two each of every color in this Fresh as a Daisy pack and went to Starbucks, spread it all out and said, okay, what can I do with it? And that really helped me out. Um, I actually have put together a couple of kits. They would look like this. And it's all the things, including the accessories that you need for the cards that I made. So if you want to go super easy peasy and just get a kit, it's got all of the um, bases and panels and everything that you need. Not the, not the designer series paper, that's separate, of course, but it's got all the cardstock parts. So if you have this paper and you just want the parts and make these cards, that's great. If you also need the paper, it is going to be listed down below. If you'd like this kit though, be sure that you email me. My email address will be below and um, just write kits in the subject line and I will respond to you and we will get that worked out. All right, so anyway, so I just grabbed two of each color so that I would have enough to do possibly a base and a panel if I decided to use a panel for something else. And that was how I began my designs. Now we're gonna go to the next video and I will show you how to start putting these cards together. I hope you liked that lesson on how to get your card parts apart because we do actually do this every now and then in various designer series papers and you wanna be able to use them. All right, be sure you check with the next video. If you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator of your own, I would love to be yours. In the meantime, be sure that you click subscribe and make sure that you click the bell so that you get an alert every time I post another informative and chatty video. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye.